NREMT has unveiled its brand new scoring system. I'm going to show you exactly the changes in how NREMT is providing feedback if you fail the exam, show you the new scoring system, and we're going to go through it so you understand it. At the very end, I'm going to give you tips based upon this new scoring system and how you can prepare for NREMT if you fail and get this kind of feedback. So first thing here, I want to show you this is the old scoring system. The old scoring system that you see on the screen right here is the five main sections of registry, and they are ranked between below passing, near passing, and above passing. That's the old system. Now, over on this side, you can see, is the new scoring system. The new scoring system is a scaled system. And as I talked about in my last video on this, this is a numeric system. So we can see the candidate score goes between 100, like the lowest, and then 1,500 is the highest. The big number to know about, 950 is the passing standard. So we got to get above a 950 on the exam to pass, right? Now, remember, you will not see any of these scoring reports if you pass. If you pass, all you'll see is this right here, which is congratulations. And that's what you'll see in an email and you'll see your certificate and you passed and you have your new credentials, right? Now, if we get a score and a feedback that is a failure, we're gonna get right now both of these. And then eventually what's gonna happen is it will just be the sales scaled score. That's what NREMT is saying. I think personally they should keep both to provide as much feedback as possible. And right now they are doing that. And hopefully it stays because I think it's good to give a numeric feedback. Oh, you can see how, really see how close you were. And then also showing the content areas. So let's talk on the old side. What does below passing mean? What does near passing mean and above passing? Above passing, that makes sense. You passed. Near passing means you are a handful of questions away and below passing means you weren't even close, right? So these five areas of national registry, airway, respiration, ventilation, cardiology and recess, trauma, medical OBGYN and EMS ops, those are the exact sections you need to study. And you can even see on the screenshot here, it even goes in detail of what content areas inside those content areas you should be looking at, especially if you got near below passing to help you and better assist you. So this is a new scoring system. It is now revealed. Now remember, study your content areas. If you got below near passing, focus, hyper-focus on that content area, strengthen up your weaknesses, and make sure you are using something to help you in the content areas, because that is literally what is on the exam. My friends, I will see you in the next video and podcast. I'll see you there. Now, a lot of you asked in the comments about how to prepare for school, how to get through school, and how to pass NREMT. The first link in the description is a study tool that I give to all my students to accomplish all of that. It's called the Video Vault. Inside the Video Vault is over 480 videos of content, audio files, worksheets, practice quizzes, our community group. What I do in the video vault is take all the concepts you need to know to pass school at NREMT, and I break them down simply for you. So that way you just follow along with the videos, you follow the study plan, and you pass. I give my students lifetime access in the first link in the description, and I'll see you on the inside.